Hi, this is Matt. I'm going to walk you through the uh, first uh, iteration of trying to build the uh, X component for the American cement building in Revit. Um, the challenge here is not only um, building an, an accurate representation uh, of the project, but also parameterizing it. Um, so that it can be flexed in, in proportion and uh, scale based on um, user inputs. Um, what we have here is a um, surface model built off of a curtain panel pattern based system. Um, so this family is just one component and once it's instantiated onto uh, a, cur a curtain panel uh, system um, you'll get the um, the whole array um, of components like you see um, on actual building. Um, a large part of the challenge here is getting the, uh, the saddle geometry which is doubly curved in this direction as well as in this direction um, to work um, along with the driving parameters. So if we bring up the rig that's behind this thing. You can see that it's not too bad. Um, and I'll flex it here for you so we can see what we got. We have uh, width, which is generally the, the offset on the, this top piece here. The height is pretty self explanatory. And also, the inset, which is um, you know, the dimension in between for this saddle. So we'll go ahead and flex those. So bring this down to 0.7. Okay, so that's thinner. Bring this height up. Looks like... Okay. And then let's bring the inset in to 0.7. Okay. So you can see how this can be to begin to be quite adaptable. Um, and then when this is loaded into a family on a grid like this, um, you get this kind of effect. So it's pretty close to um, the desired outcome, but the articulation of the joints here is um, something that I had to overlook in order to get the parameterization um, working well. Uh, the biggest challenge here is um, that these are all um, surface um, geometries, so they can't be used for calculating volume of the component, they can't be used for um, solar analysis, 